I'm Ian Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. So Liverpool are playing Middlesbrough in the League Cup and as I'm a Liverpool fan from Middlesbrough, I thought I should probably make a little vid. Yo, video. Now you'll probably recognise me from the world famous North East Red Men, the younger, slightly less attractive brother of the actual Red Men. So you already know that I'm a Red Man from the North East, but you're probably wondering... Hey mate, why do you support Liverpool when you're from Middlesbrough? That's not even anywhere near Liverpool. And to that I'd probably say... Sorry? I'm a Liverpool fan because my dad's a Liverpool fan and when you're a kid you kind of just follow what your dad does, don't you? Whether that's supporting a sim football team or shoplifting. He's a Liverpool fan because he grew up in the 70s and he was a glory supporter, so he's the prick in this situation, don't have a go at me. I'm glad he was a prick though, otherwise I probably would have been loyal to my local club like a normal person. Despite not being a Borough fan, I obviously know a little bit about them, so let's compare LFC to MFC. People from Middlesbrough and Teesside in general are known as Smoggies. People from Liverpool or Merseyside in general are known as criminal scousers. Scousers. Smoggies refers to the smog produced by many of the chemical plants on Teesside. You probably think being proud of pollution is weird, but it was either that or Paul Daniels, so you do the math. Liverpool fans sing You'll Never Walk Alone. Millsborough fans sing Do 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 do! Up the border! Do 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 do! Up the border! Do 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 So, pretty even in terms of club songs. Middlesbrough's delicacy is the parmo, breaded chicken breast with a delicious bechamel sauce topped with melted cheese. You haven't lived until you've had one. Liverpool's delicacy is... Lobscouse. A meat and vegetable stew thought to have originated with Liverpool semen. <laughs> semen. I think Middlesbrough might win that one. Now everyone's familiar with Scouse dialect, but not so much Borough dialect. So let me teach you some. How do? Which translates as, how are you? Town was proper fucking rammed like, proper shite. Which translates as, it was very busy, not good. Went down bongo right, but I had a fucking bear with us, and I was like, hey, fucking baggage, swear down, I don't do me and do you a favour and watch it while I go on the fucking dance floor and pull a mint and I'm class town and I'm fucking palm or F there. Which translates as, it was always pretty funny when Millsborough fans sang the You'll Never Get A Job chant to Liverpool fans when, for ages, Millsborough had the highest unemployment rate in Britain. But one man who did have a job in Millsborough was former Liverpool hero Stuart Downing. Stewie D was actually man of the match last time Liverpool played Borough. A 2-0 loss at the Riverside that saw the 2009 title slip away. We lost that day to a team that included our very own Brad Jones, Jeremy Aliadier, Afonso Alves and Marlon King. It's depressing, isn't it? For the most part, it's been better being a Liverpool fan than a Middlesbrough fan, but not in all cases. In 1998, my dad had tickets for the League Cup final in Wembley. Liverpool played Middlesbrough in the semi-final, and as a confident glory support, my dad said, if Liverpool win, you can go to the final at Wembley. If Middlesbrough win, your sister can go to the final at Wembley. Why wouldn't he be confident? Of course we were going to win. Middlesbrough beat Liverpool over two legs. Nice parenting, Dad. Although I'm a supporter of Liverpool's football club, I'm still proud of being a Borough lad. I mean, yeah, Liverpool has the Beatles and Jimmy McGovern, but Millsborough has James Arthur and Roy Chubby Brown. So leave us a comment below and tell us what you think will happen when Rodgers and Karanka, two of Mourinho's former apprentices, go head-to-head. -head. It should be Rodgers sliding on his knees at the end of the game, but you never know. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube, give the video a thumbs up, and leave your comments and various bits of abuse in the comments section below. Oh, Balotelli, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, my word! <laughs>